All right, so it is 7.30 a.m. here where I am, and this Knife Thoughts video is going to be a live unboxing of some knives from traditional pocket knives, C. Reisner Cutlery. Now, I know that this is really early for a live video, uh, definitely not the best time to be doing it if I want a lot of people to watch it live. So um, don't I don't have, you know, big expectations for that, but I will be uploading it. So, you know, you'll be able to watch it later if you don't catch the live for sure. But I wanted to do it now because I got these knives yesterday in the mail and I don't get home from work until after dark. So it wouldn't have been able to, to do an unboxing. I wanted to do an unboxing of these, uh, but I wasn't able to do it, you know, the day that I got them and been doing all kinds of stuff uh, for, you know, health and, and resilience and stuff. And one of those things is to, you know, delay, um, I guess, gratification or whatever and having a, a box of not just two knives but a shirt also so two knives and a shirt um is tough to not just open it uh even my wife yesterday last night when i got home was like why don't you open the box that you got uh so just forcing myself to wait and do this this video here because i think that it's fun to do um live videos i haven't done a whole whole lot of them recently and uh especially this is a uh queen made so in Titusville, PA, um, Shatton Morgan Keystone Series 14, and then also a QSP Hawk. Uh, and it's always interesting to see how the Queen, you know, the Titusville made Queen Knives cutlery uh, quality is. Um, and by the way, one of those things that I'm doing for health and, and resilience and everything is cold exposure in the mornings. I go for a walk, and so I already got my cold exposure. Uh, so probably don't need to be out in the cold in just a t-shirt, but maybe I'll have to get a hoodie from uh, traditional pocket knives. But anyway, uh, and also I want to mention if my face looks weird, I teach Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as part of my job and uh, got a little uh, scratched up yesterday. But anyway, I wanted to do an unboxing and so here we are before work because I have to go to work, wouldn't be able to do it while I was at work and I'm going to be using this Great Eastern Cutlery Knife, the number 94. And honestly, I, I forget which is which here on the 94 and 49 between the Freedom and Liberty. But I got this from Traditional Pocket Knives, uh, from Austin at Traditional Pocket Knives. And uh, Austin did say that these Keystone Series 14s, he found them, he found a box when he was looking for the uh, presidential series which he recently uh, kind of put up and that's happened a couple times I've had uh, a couple different times where he found some old queen knives because I believe his grandfather who you know started C. Reisner cutlery had just a lot of queen knives uh, so it's really cool I've gotten a, a several really really nice old stock new old stock queen knives from Austin at traditional pocket knives and they've been really, really nice. Uh, so this is a, a handle material that I haven't, or handle color, I guess, that I haven't had from Queen, uh, as well as a pattern. So I was excited for that, but I got another shirt here. So it's actually the same as the one I'm wearing, uh, but red. So um, just decided to get a little bit more vibrant color. I'm gonna open the QSP first here. It actually comes in a relatively big box. I'll show you a comparison between the Shatton Morgan box and the QSP box. The uh, roosters are telling, telling us it's time to get up, I guess. Uh, so QSP, better knife, better life. That's the truth, right? Um, and this is the Hawk. This is an ebony wood handle. It's part of why I wanted to try this one. I wanted to try QSP because uh, my friend Dan, who, you know, loans a lot of knives to the channel, has a couple and, you know, has thought that they were good. A lot of people really like some of them, kind of budget knives. Now, this one is a little bit more expensive than some of them. This is in the $55 range. I think maybe 58 is what I paid. But it has a 14 c 28 end blade as well as the ebony wood handle. And it's a design that appeals to me a little bit more than, um, I think the Penguin is the really popular one. It has a little bump at the end, uh, the butt end of the handle that I never really like on knives. But first thing here, this comes with a couple stickers. So here's one with, speaking of the Penguin, a Penguin. 
she kind of like that sticker it's you know fun silly and then a much more serious one with a wolf with a knife in its teeth so um then there is a little card that tells you info on the knife they didn't check off what blade material and handle material this has but it does have all the different options so you can pause that if you want it might be backwards i guess but anyway uh it is 3.225 inch blade 7.35 inches overall ball bearings uh 1.1 inches tall in the handle interesting metric there or measure it's a liner lock with a flipper and thumb studs and the handle is 4.125 inches long so let's open this thing up so it comes packaged like so you can see that it has a cutout in this kind of felt foam area and then it's in a bag within that one thing i was looking at one of the knives that dan loaned me and realized i'm assuming that this triangle here is the quality service price which is oops which is what qsp stands for quality service price which are you know good good things um <laughs> so here it is the ebony is nice and dark it's not a hundred percent black it might show up no i guess you can see a little bit of the brown um, but it's very very dark and actually looks really nice to be honest nice and smooth some contouring pretty happy with the look and feel it's very smooth there's basically no texture to this ebony uh, but that's kind of how wood goes as long as it's not jigged and uh, very very few companies do jigging on wood anymore but it is let's see if i can get that really well centered um, pretty close to perfect actually maybe like half a millimeter towards the uh, show side but about as close as it gets <coughs> um and let's open it up very very smooth flipping um my, my fingers are pretty cold already to be honest and it feels really smooth and actually one of the things like i mentioned the other uh, qsp knife that's really popular the i think penguin you know i i wasn't a huge fan of it when i got to see it from dan uh i thought it was like a good budget knife but for me with my you know wide hand short fingers it had uh, a raised area here at the butt end of the handle and so you know it stuck into my pinky not a huge deal but definitely not not what i usually prefer this as you can see has this cutoff it's actually somewhat reminiscent in the handle shape it's a little bit thinner uh, more slender and obviously longer but reminiscent of the banter and baby banter by uh we and civivi and, and designed by ben peterson but um very similar to that in the handle it's like a longer version of that in fact you know <clears throat> the blade is also a little bit you know more slender less tall but the blade has similar vibes to it also so i like that and it does actually feel good in the hand the the wood scales are relatively thick so you can get a pretty good uh you know grip on it here um the blade looks pretty nicely ground um maybe not quite as thin as a savivi might be but pretty thin i think it will cut well it's basically a very high saber flat grind i believe uh drop close smooth has those ball bearings so that's kind of to be expected no blade play when unlocked it's really solid feeling i don't feel any forward or back and let's try those thumb studs also yeah i mean this is a nice knife to be honest uh i don't have any complaints on it right now i mean i'm definitely going to you know take time to carry it and use it and put my thoughts together on it i actually just saw qsp came out with a knife and um austin put it up on traditional pocket knives like a day or two after i ordered this by the way this these came really quickly but a day or two after i ordered this that is called the osprey and it looks maybe like i'll have to get it and try it out also but anyway um pretty happy with this i i don't have an ebony wood handled modern knife i actually realized i don't think i have an ebony wood handled traditional knife either which 
seems silly. It's one of the most classic uh, handle materials on traditional knives. So I'll have to get one of those to go with this. I've been kind of doing EDC matching sets of knives and I don't think I'll be able to get a, an ebony handled um, flashlight. But anyway, pretty cool. Uh, I, I'm actually pretty happy with this one. This one's hitting me better than I expected, to be honest. So this is the QSP Hawk. And let's move on to the Shatton Morgan Keystone Series number 14. So I'll show you this again here. Shatton Morgan, uh, Cutler Co., the American Frontiersman Mountain Trapper, or Mountain Man Trapper. So this is a Mountain Man. Uh, there were actually a couple different versions of the Mountain Man pattern, a uh, single blade and a double blade. This is a double blade. They had a locking version. This is a non-locking version. So this is the Trapper, and you know, being that it's the two blade. Folding outers knife. I don't know what outers means. It's a folding outers knife. So anyway, I always like getting these old, old, new old stock queens because Queen went out of business 2018, if I remember correctly. And so now it's the, the brands Queen and Queen uh, City are owned by basically Smoky Mountain Knife Works. They have made some in the US, probably by Baron Sons, but most of them have been made not in the US. So I just think these are cool piece of, you know, knife history. And Chatton Morgan is actually the brand is that now owned by Cooper Cutlery. So if you saw my video on the uh, Weed & Co brand knife, uh, again from traditional pocket knives actually, uh, that was made by Cooper Cutlery Company, which now owns Shatton Morgan. They're working on the Shatton Morgan. So we'll see how that goes, but let's open this thing up. So it comes in some paper, which is pretty typical for these queens. Definitely a hefty knife. I mean, that's that's a hefty knife. I believe that these are bigger than Gradation Cutlery 23s, but I don't have a 23 out to show you. First thing I notice is, boy, this, this bone is cool. I'm not sure if Queen did this in-house or if this is cool pepper, but wherever it was made, it's very cool. It's a, a red, a very deep red with, you know, dark, darker coloring inside the jigging so that's very cool uh and i actually never it's so crazy I, i've looked at these keystone series a lot i mean I think especially on traditional pocket knives and they they have different shields i think some of them had pearl shields and some had um, abalone and things like that and these have numbers on them i never looked close enough to realize until i have it in my hand that it's actually 925 SS, which means that this is sterling silver for the shield. So that's cool. I, I actually didn't know that that's what that was, which I feel really stupid saying that because I, I have looked at these a lot and I always was like, what are those numbers? I just guess I never like thought about it, looked at them close enough. I thought it would have something to do with the pattern, but uh, sterling silver. Anyway, um, well centered, really pretty much perfect on the centering. Uh, the the blades, are, the, the tips are not proud. The spay blade tip is getting towards proud, but I would say it's not. You know, the fact that, that it's a trapper pattern uh, makes it so it's a little bit less of a concern because you're not gonna catch your finger on that. Um, really no gaps. I mean, these are older knives, so there's some discoloration on the brass liners. I don't know how well you can see that here with the reflections. There we go. There's some discoloration on those, but this is an older knife, so that's totally fine. Uh, pins look pretty good. The spring pin is spun. The others look to be just peened. And let's open it up. That's a hefty lanyard hole. So much lighter pull than I expected. I mean, like quite a bit much lighter. But it does have pretty good snap. So same deal. Honestly, I think this would be, you know, it makes it a little bit easier to use that it has a lighter, lighter pull. I would call this pull like a four. 
maybe five, but closer to four, I think. But boy, it is nice and snappy. I'll show you the tang stamps here. So we've got the SXM for Shat and Morgan, Titusville on this side, and then Queen Cutco, Titusville on the other side, and I believe the same. Yeah, the same on the, oh no, it's just the S&M Titusville on this bay. But this bay blade does have uh, the date 2004. So this is, you know, an 18 year old knife, right? Yeah, all probably coming up on 18 years old. Uh, 04213T is the model number there. Hopefully you can see that. So 18 year old knife, um, really, really nice. Honestly, I'm super happy with it. Now, uh, these went for, I believe 150 on uh, traditional pocket knives. Uh, I think that they sold out pretty much immediately. So unfortunately you can't get these. Uh, you know, he, he said he found, a, Austin said he found a box, but I doubt that there were a huge, huge number of them. I actually, <laughs> now, this is always the case. You know, I'm always, I mentioned, you know, I don't have unlimited funds for knives in some of my videos and stuff. And it's very true. You know, I can't just be spending, <laughs> you know, as much as I want to on knives. But often when you get a knife, you wish, oh, I wish I would have gotten some of the other ones. They had some other, or Austin had some other, um, I guess, models in this Keystone series. And now I'm kind of uh, kicking myself for not getting them. But this is really cool. I mean, it's a very, again, hefty knife. Uh, I've got, oh, I don't have the Endora. I have a Civivi um, Chronic in my pocket. You can see the Mountain Man is quite a bit longer than the Civivi and thicker. So definitely a hefty knife, but honestly with with this nice light pole and stuff, you could you could definitely use this knife. And it's one of six hundred. So not a not a huge run either, to be honest. 2004 uh is while Bill Howard was still at Queen also. So really cool. I'm I'm actually really happy with this one too. Uh so we have a positive unboxing. Um, I know I've had some, some not as positive unboxings recently, uh, particularly traditional knives, but this is nice and the QSP is nice, nice too. So really happy with these. Um, fingers are getting pretty cold out here, so probably gonna end this, but I, I think we've had zero watchers. <laughs> <laughs> during the live here which is again not a surprise it's uh 7 48 now so i'm um, still pretty early to be watching a live knife unboxing but for those of you who watch this later i really appreciate it as always uh, make sure you check out my other videos and subscribe to the channel you can click the bell and uh select all so you know when i post new videos um i highly suggest if more new old stock queen come up from Austin at traditional pocket knives. Check them out. And the QSP also, I still think I might, you know, try the Osprey and, uh, you know, see what I think of that because I've just been really impressed with a lot of these foreign made knives recently. So thank you for watching. As always, check out my other social media, my website, knifethoughts.com. I'm posting more frequently. I had a pretty significant break from like August until January here. Uh, but I'm posting more articles and I have more on the way. So make sure you go there. You can subscribe by email to, to the blog also. And uh, last but not least, as always, don't forget to go out and do good.